Sponsorship for this program provided by the Ed and Don DeCarbo Funeral Home and Crematory Incorporated with two locations, 941 South Mill Street, Newcastle and 3000 Wilmington Road, Neshanic Township.
Hello, my friends, and welcome to Holy Spirit Parish on this beautiful, sunny, holy Saturday. What we are about to do now is bless our Easter baskets, the Easter food, for your first Easter meal. And I know this Easter is very different than Easter's in the past. Many of us will not be able to be with our families because of the coronavirus. But I ask you to think Hello, for a moment my friends, about and welcome the Israelites, the Holy Spirit Parish, the Jewish people, beautiful, sunny, who were carried off Holy Saturday. into exile what during we are about the Babylonian to do now exile is bless and our Easter baskets, from the Easter their food, for, for your first years. Easter meal. And I 500 know this, years, that's a long time. That's generations who never knew worship in the temple in Jerusalem. How did they keep the faith alive? in their families, with their children, for all those years. It was what was going on in the heart of their home, with you, parents, and children, just like we are experiencing this Easter. So I look out and see the children who are gathered watching this blessing of Easter baskets. I, I think I see my little niece, Mary Alice, and Patrick, my nephew, and I hope many other children who are watching. Because for Lent, many of us, maybe children older than you two, gave up something for Lent. So in our Easter basket is something that now we can eat for Easter. So even adults, maybe some adults gave up certain favorite foods, maybe they gave up coffee or wine or something else, or chocolate, dessert, those are the things now that are part of it. But different cultures have different things in their Easter basket that's special for Easter and has all kind of symbolic meaning. And we've published those things in the bulletin in the past. But today, what I want you to do is consider the fact that we are asking God to bless this special food we're gonna eat for the first time at our Easter meal. So listen to this prayer. Throughout Lent, we have been preparing for the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in prayer and almsgiving and fasting. Our Lenten fast is a reminder of our hunger and thirst for holiness, which is satisfied only by Christ, who feeds us and nourishes us with the Eucharist and the sacraments. When we gather for our first Easter meal, May the food that we now ask God's blessing upon strengthen us so that we might serve him more faithfully and come to that kingdom and the delights of his table in heaven. So I'll ask you to join me in this intercessions, okay? So at the end of the response, say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, God invites us to this Paschal feast and makes us ready. May he give us the assistance of his strength and grace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Easter may find us cleansed of sin and ready to live a new Christian faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the bread that we share will be a reminder of the bread we share in the Holy Eucharist, the body of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that we may be ready to give from our table to those in need who hunger and thirst. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer, that we may one day enjoy the banquet of the Lord in his heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. And now let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And let us turn to Our Lady, our dear Blessed Mother, and ask her to also pray for us that we might celebrate this Easter with faith renewed. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And then we pray to God who we believe, one God in three divine persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So we pray, glory be to God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God who lives and reigns forever and ever. God of glory, the eyes of all turn to you as we celebrate the victory over sin and death of Christ our Savior. Bless this food for our first Easter meal. May we who gather at the Lord's table continue to celebrate with great joy his resurrection and be admitted finally to that heavenly banquet where Christ lives and reigns forever and ever. And now if you have available at home some holy water, you can bless your baskets. May Christ, always nourishing us and strengthening us in faith and love, now be with you forever. Amen. May Almighty God bless you and keep you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I wish you all very blessed, joyous Easter. Even under these circumstances, know that our Savior is with you to protect you, to guide you, and to strengthen you. And as you celebrate your Easter meal, I know different than in years past, still the same God, the same Savior is with you. So remember us too, we have Mass this evening at 8.30, the Easter Vigil, very special, and then tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., our Easter morning Mass. Have a rest of the day in the blessed presence of our risen Savior.